Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews Now 2, and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily update your BIOS or even your chipset drivers, any other peripheral drivers that are connected to your MSI motherboard using MSI Center. Actually, in Windows, no more faffing around in the BIOS. Very, very straightforward, very simple to do, very easy. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so this is the Windows 11 desktop. That same principle applies to previous versions, which is supported in the MSI Center. You will need to install MSI Center to be able to do this. Uh, very easy to do. You can just open up the Microsoft Store. And in the search box at the top here, just type in MSI, then Center. And it's this one here. And as you can see, this is already installed, so we can just open it. So let's go ahead and open it up. And here we are. So this is the MSI Center. For those of you who have not seen it before, so you've got options in here, so hardware monitoring, you've got features, support, etc. So you can go into support, and this is where we want to go for this particular part of the video, and we're going to head over into live update. So in live update, it will scan the system, if for some reason it hasn't, down at the bottom here, you've got options for advanced and scan. So if it's not showing anything here, click on scan. It will do a very quick scan of the system and available drivers on the internet, and it will come back with a list of what can be updated. So in our particular instance, we've got AMD chipset driver, current version installed on the system, 310.08.506, and the online version is actually newer, so 310.22.706. So if we wanted to, we can update that. Just put a tick there, or a marker in the checkbox. Also, we've got the Realtek HD Universal Drivers. Again, there's a very, very slight update on that, so we've got a slightly newer version. We could, if we wanted to, update that. Obviously, if you're having HD audio driver problems, then possibly worth updating that. And if you want to, you, no, let's let's just ignore Norton security completely. So that is the uh, updates we can do here. So that's nice and simple to do. Also for the Microsoft app, there is the Realtek audio control. So you can download that and just click on there and it'll take you actually back to the Microsoft store, ironically. But some of you are going to want to do a little bit more in terms of updating your BIOS through Windows. So what we're going to want to do is click on the advanced tab at the bottom here. And it'll scan the system. Now, for our particular system, uh, it's picked up a new BIOS for this particular motherboard. Now, it lists the motherboard as its title name rather than the actual model number. So this is the MS7C56, which actually is the Gaming Plus B550 motherboard. The current version installed on the motherboard is 1.5, and the online version is 1.7. So if you wanted to update from here, you certainly can do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a tick box in there, and then we're going to click on Install. So it says here, installation reminder, a system reboot is mandatory to complete the BIOS driver software update. Do not shut down the system during the installation process. So obviously make sure there's nothing running and make sure you've got a stable power supply, all the usual things which you would have for a BIOS update. And let's go ahead and click on install. So now this is downloading the actual BIOS file itself. And it will go through the various percentages. So we're going to carry on let this go through I'll fast forward it for those of you that are watching the video and uh, yeah we'll see the end result but as you can see at the bottom there it says downloading wait for installing etc so it basically can go through and do a reboot flash the boss and all that kind of good stuff so I'm gonna keep the camera rolling just in case there's anything interesting but if not we will see you very shortly so now it's rebooted and it's gone into the M flash system in the boss there's been no intervention at all whatsoever. I've literally not touched the keyboard, mouse, or anything, just letting it get on and do its own thing. And obviously, I would suggest for those of you watching, if you're potentially thinking about doing this yourself, do the uh, the safety precautions first of all. Make sure, again, make sure your power supply is uh, connected properly. Don't try using your keyboard, mouse, and those kinds of things. Just leave the system to do what it needs to do and uh, let it carry on. It'll take a little while, so we'll fast forward through this. Okay, so there we go. Very simple, very straightforward, and obviously you still get that little moment where the system reboots and you're a little bit scared if it's actually gonna come back on again. Now, I have actually stopped recording in between when it actually did the reboot. 
It lost all my fan settings in the motherboard because it's a fresh bar, so I had to go in and do the usual things like enable XMP to get the memory speed and also go into the fan section and choose PWM for my fans so they didn't spin up too fast. Other than that, absolutely fine. And the BIOS is updated to the latest version, which is always a good thing. Didn't need to get a USB stick or anything like that. Now this is gonna be extremely important for those of you that are thinking of upgrading your systems. So if you are now currently sat there watching this, you've got a working system and you're thinking of upgrading your processor to a 5000 series from maybe a 3000 or an older 2000 series, this is the way to do it. Go to the MSI Center, install the BIOS via a live update, and then when you turn the system off and wanna put your new processor in, it's gonna be ready for it straight away. So you don't have to worry about when you put your new processor in, then realizing that it doesn't actually work and maybe you don't have a USB flashback BIOS. When you get to that point, you're in a whole world of trouble. So you either have to take your processor out, put the old one back in, etc., etc. It's a nightmare. So for those of you thinking of doing BIOS upgrades for system updates, definitely do it in Windows before you do anything else. I would say do this first then do your processor swaps and all that kind of stuff. And again, for things like drivers, if you're having issues with your system, maybe you've installed the wrong drivers. This is a good way of actually getting MSI to rectify the problem without any user intervention. Just select the drivers that they're offering you and press the button, sit back and enjoy the ride. So hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you like this sort of content and you want more in your inbox, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the chime icon, and you'll be notified of future video releases. But that's going to be it for this one. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.